Hi friends, welcome to this class and and this class is only meant for synthesis of furan by by not synthesis. How to synthesis furan? See here they will consider one four dicarbonyl compounds in acidic medium that is non aqueous acidic medium in presence of benzene we are going to get a derivative of furan this is about palp nor synthesis in short the reaction is like this see they will consider the compound like this this is the compound dicarbonyl compound me stands here for methyl group me stands for methyl ch3 this is me i am going to write ch3 like this me methyl this is one four dicarbonyl compound in presence of acid in non aqueous that is in presence of benzene we take benzene as the solvent and we reflux it reflux means we are going to remove water to we are going to reflux it and we are going to get the product that is furan we will get furan no doubt but it consists of two methyl groups here and here so it is derivative of furan it is 1 2 2,5 dimethyl furan is the compound which we get here it is 2,1 So uh, one, two, three, four, five. Two comma five. Diamethyl furan. Furan is the compound. So this is how we synthesize furan. So uh, we need to know its mechanism in order to get mass. If you write these steps, that is this uh, definition and this reaction, you will get one mark, and the other four mark will be meant only for mechanism. To write mechanism, I need space. So I am going to write this all this. So you got an idea. To write mechanism, it will be very easy in organic chemistry because see what we considered. We considered this compound, dimethyl carbonyl compound. We considered this is dimethyl carbonyl compound, and I am going to consider acid H plus acid. in presence of benzene as solvent so this is neutral and this is acid medium so acid that is h plus this is electron deficient so it is going to attack here oxygen and this pi electron is going to shift on oxygen so the next step is i will write it small c this is the next step here methyl group is there so here instead of oxygen i will write like this o minus h plus No doubt. So it is OH. I got the bond OH. Instead of writing OH here, I wrote there, and I consider. Uh, or otherwise, I can write like this also. Here, let me write methyl, and here I have OH group. That is, in presence of H plus, it became like that. We have excess excess of H plus because it is in acidic medium. So other H will. Attack. So see here, the electron shifted from this, so it should get positive charge. This carbon gets positive charge because it is all meant of conservation of charge. It is neutral. It is positive. So the compound form should be positive because conservation of charge. Charge neither be created nor be destroyed. Here also it was totally plus. Here also we got plus. That is conservation of charge. So this carbon got plus. Here we have two hydrogens like this. These are the two hydrogens. To remove this H plus, this is going to go, and this bond is going to shift here. So the compound what we got is like this: double bond here, methyl group is there here, and OH group is here. Double bond O, and here we have the amine. This is the compound what we got because of minus H plus, because one H left, and this bond shifted here. That is about cyclization. We will get a second product uh, of our C. Then this compound in presence of acid because it is catalyzed in presence of acid. So the other H will attack this oxygen because it is also rich in electron and whereas this is electron deficient, so it is going to attack here. We are going to get like this. So we got OH. Then me. This carbon gets positive charge, 
Because the rate of shift is towards oxygen. Here we have OH and here we have ME and there is double bond and we are left with single hydrogen here. But here we have two hydrogen. Since this carbon gets H uh, that is positive charge, electro deficient, this oxygen consists of electron pairs. So this is going to donate here and it is going to form a bond that is nothing but cyclization. The open chain becomes now cyclic component. See, cyclization let me represent like this. Like this. See, so here I have double bond and this oxygen came here, hydrogen here and this bond form. But this oxygen by donating lone, lone pair of electron, it gets positive charge. And uh, this positive charge became neutralized and we are left with oxygen OH here, methyl group here and here we have methyl group. This is the compound. Say conservation of charge. Here also there is only positive charge. Here also we got positive charge. From initial to final it will be of conservation of charge. So this is the compound. And see here the oxygen which is very electronegative can't have this electron deficient because it is more electronegative it holds the electron. Since it is electron deficient so it loses this hydrogen and takes this electron here to become neutral. So the next compound will be like this. As I keep on writing you to write because if I don't get any space I am going to rub the previous steps. So here we have double bond, here we have methyl group and here we have oxygen OH and here we have Me and hydrogen went as H plus. So conservation of charge is there. But this reaction is catalyzed under acid so that is more number of H plus ions will be there. So this H plus is going to attack here this oxygen. So it becomes H2O plus if I do like this. I can rub this, if H plus attacks here, the oxygen gets plus charge and it will be here like this. So this is highly unstable. For electronegative atom, there should not be electron deficient, that is H plus should not be there. So it takes this bond, these two electrons and becomes H2 minus H2. So I told it as reflex when we eat, it becomes H2O and we get here positive charge. Let me write the next step. No problem. Let me write here. Here I have got H, H and oxygen on plus. So it takes this electron becomes H2O to give me this compound. The compound was effect. It gets H plus, the carbon gets H plus. I have methyl group here. Here I have one methyl group. Here two hydrogens are there, whereas here one hydrogen and double bond. So this hydrogen is going to go like this and this electron is going to shift here. So I am going to get the compound like this. So the compound is, see, the hydrogen went, only one hydrogen is left here and this became here, double bond. I got, so it became neutral, oxygen, oxygen. This is the derivative of furan. 2 comma 5 dimethyl furan. In this way, we prepare furan by taking dicarbonyl compound in acidic medium. We get this furan. This is the synthesis of furan. One of the simplest steps I have shown you the mechanism. If you didn't get it, please watch it clearly once again and practice it. You will get it definitely. That I am going to ensure you will get it definitely. So let us see how resonance takes place in furan. I told this is the structure of furan. These two electrons are sp2 hybridized and remains outside the plane that is outside the ring but these two, these two electrons are unhybridized. P orbital of oxygen those are going to undergo conjugation. So there will be resonance like this. This is resonance structure of this is very important because see the oxygen shifts here and this electron and this electron shifts here so we are going to get like this oxygen gets positive charge and here we are going to get negative and double bond here double bond here so this electron will shift here and we are going to be shifting like this 
This is next structure. This will be canonical structure. So it will take place in both the directions. So I am representing by double arrow. So here minus double bond here. And we have double bond and positive charge. And this electron will shift here. And this electron is going to shift here. But here the, the two lone pair of electrons will be there. Because they are not going to involve in any resonance. So the next canonical structure is like this. Double bond here, minus here, and there is like this, and here positive, and then there of other front remains outside the plane. The next canonical structure is it is going to shift here, and this is going to shift here. So this is the next structure. Double bond here, plus here, minus here, and then we get double bond here. The next canonical structure is like this. This minus will shift like this, this is going to get electron and becomes neutral again. So, like this, the structure is. Isn't it? No, no. This is going to shift here, here, electron and it becomes neutral. And this two low pair of electrons remains outside the plane. This is the canonical structure of uranium. So, I went like this, I came here only. This is resonance. Because of this resonance, these heteroatoms, heterocyclic compounds are stable. So this is, so you see the electron density is very high. Ah, so I think this is about its resonance. And they will ask, uh, like see, if I consider homocyclic compound like, uh, and which is aromatic, that is benzene. Here all are carbon, so it is homocyclic and six electron, uh, so it is aromatic. Since this carbon also there will be resonance. Here also we see resonance. So we write its structure like this. In circle we will write because of resonance. Here also there will be resonance. But which is more aromatic? My answer will be this. The benzene is more aromatic. Because this oxygen is electron negative. Because of this electron negative of oxygen, it is not going to easily donate this low pair of electron. It will donate. No doubt it will donate, but since it is more electronegative, it holds it, little it holds the electron density towards it. So, uh, it totally does not become 6 pi electron. To be aromatic, it should be 6 pi. But since it holds little electron density towards itself, so it is not exactly 6 pi. But whereas benzene, all are homocyclic, all are same, so it is 6 pi electron. So it is more aromatic. One which is more aromatic is more stable and less reactive. So benzene is less reactive because it is more aromatic. Whereas uran is not that much aromatic, but it is aromatic, no doubt but less aromatic so more reactive compared to benzene this is the question you may be you may come across anywhere in any competitive exam or other way. and as we move further you, you are you will be sure about such kind of questions thank you for watching if you feel like to share with share this video you please share with your friends and give me thumbs up if you like this video please i mean please like my video thank you bye